Alright, so next reaction is Three Sons RDC World One Combination. Now, I know most of them have seen this video before, but most of them don't. So, uh, we're going to do that if we could. So, uh, let's get into it in 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, 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 oh. Are you on his ass? Then be prepared. This is the first sign that a nigga may come back with a weapon. Most niggas pull out weapons when they get smashed on in a fight or when they feel extremely oh, yeah, embarrassed. Do not put anything yeah. past an embarrassed nigga. They will come back with something that spits. <laughs> Take note of the camera. In this generation, niggas record everything. A nigga getting beat up on. Thank you. I know it was in the video. <laughs> Uh, anyways, um, yeah, it really be like that, how you want to try to fight somebody, and, you know, try to back, try to get the back up, somehow, uh, you know, you have a gun and stuff like that, and also, it really be that true, because, you know, every time you record stuff, and, you know, post it on World Star, Hip Hop, I mean, I, I think most of them don't do that anymore, or do they? I don't know, comment down below. And now let's continue on. Camera is a main ingredient to going viral, and nobody wants to be viral getting their ass whooped. This may justify his cause to come back with a weapon. Be careful while folding a nigga. Your life may be the one actually in danger. <laughs> in danger. Are those girls? His chances of having a gun have just gone up. Niggas hate to lose in anything in front of girls because they feel like they can get those girls. And when that option is taken away, anything is on the table. And you just hold him. So probably a gun. That's on the table. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, man, watch out. All right, I got some for you. Hold on, hold on. What did he just say? Yes, Let's see. replay that one more time. All right, I got some for you. Hold on, hold on. This is not a drill. Please leave the grounds immediately. He's got something for you. Do not call his bluff. When a nigga says, wait, I got something for you. Wait right here. He's probably got something for you. So please do not wait. Your life is in danger. If you see the nigga walking back like this, then you fucked up because you didn't listen to anything I was saying. You should have left. Now you gotta do the race. <laughs> hey, so what was that y'all said? Oh, shit. What was that y'all said? All right, what's up, bro? <laughs> now you gotta do the race. <laughs> that voice, man. That voice of it, man. Oh, man. Listen, if three signs you should see when you're fighting someone that can't fight. Yeah, it really do that thing, man. Like, so here we go. Oh, I must have left that one for a second. <laughs> what was that y'all said? Alright, what's up, bro? Take note of what he just said. <laughs> Alright, what's up, bro? What real nigga yeah, says up, that bro? shit before a fight? Let's replay that one more time. Alright, what's up, bro? Say that Most real right. niggas with high fighting potential will say something <laughs> like this. What's up, bitch? Nah, <laughs> fuck that. Run them hoes then. On my mama, you got me fucked up. Yeah. Also, take note of his weak post. This nigga has never boxed a day in his life. <laughs> <laughs> Quick fun fact. Most niggas that can't fight always try to wrestle. Don't play into their game. This isn't WWE. Get him off you and give him one more. Chances are, he's going to sleep. Hold on, give me a minute. Hold on, I got asthma. Hold on, watch out, man. This nigga does not have asthma. The fight's over. He's just trying not to go to sleep. Chase him a few steps if you really want to put fear in his heart. Plus, if you don't, he might keep talking hard. And no nigga wants that. Watch out, watch out. What's up, nigga? Throw something. Notice how he's pacing back and forth with his hands behind his back. He's obviously waiting for any moment to jump in and knock your ass out. Is you gonna swing? Yeah. Somehow, uh, you know, it really do that thing in real life. Because, you know, you got to do like a hating camp match. You know... <laughs> No, one of them was trying to attack you. Well, not nah, not one of them, but uh, one of them, uh, one of his friends is trying to like, like sneak up right behind him and take the shot, like a clean shot, you know, knock him out. And um, others, you know, about to fight you and all that. But while his friend come up, come showing up with his sleeves, you know, trying to knock him out right behind you. 
Like, so that that really happens. So probably like you just do that one. Thing, so yeah. <coughs> Is he smiling? It's obvious he doesn't give a fuck about anybody's well-being. Yeah. Fuck it, I'll swing. Oops, they got your ass with the setup. Now his friend is snuck up behind you and he's about to steal your ass like third base at a baseball game. <laughs> he's about to sneak up behind you like third base at a baseball game. <laughs> Hold on, let's see it. Let's see it again. Oops, they got your ass with the setup. Now his friend is snuck up behind you and he's about to steal your ass like third base at a baseball game. <laughs> You better sneak your ass. <laughs> you better steal your ass like third base of the baseball game. <laughs> oh shit. Alright, what's up? Uh, three signs to know a hint about to eat a freestyle. <laughs> I mean, I don't rap in. I don't rap in like that, so I mean. Let's do it. There's nobody there. <laughs> Notice how we already know this man is about to eat. Why you ask? Take note of his location. This man is in a car. Most yeah. niggas that freestyle in a car have a higher chance of spitting fire. I'm not really sure why, but try this at home. Freestyle in your house and then freestyle in your car. If you're still garbage in the car, then you probably should stop rapping because you are trash. <laughs> Somebody hurry, pause the camera right there. I'm trying to tell y'all that this man is about to spit some heat. He's not looking at the camera. Most of the time before niggas yeah. spit fire, they don't look at the camera until it's time to spit the bars. Yeah. Hold up. Do y'all hear that beat? Let's replay that one more time. Yeah. One more time for the people in the back. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do you excuse my language? Niggas hear that beat. That is ether by yeah. Nas. For yeah. those of you who don't know what ether is, you don't listen to rap. A little background for you niggas who don't know rap. Right. Ether is the beat used by Nas to destroy Jay Z right. during their beef. So if you're gonna get on I ether, know. please I destroy know. any nigga that you are talking about. Or simply eat the bead. Did you just smoke a layup? <laughs> Three signs you trash at basketball. Under no circumstances should you be smoking a layup unless LeBron is behind you, ready to end your career. Shout out to Curry. <laughs> I saw. I saw. Oh. Foul. What's up? What's up? What's up? Oh. Oh. Foul. Question. Where's the foul? If you constantly catch yourself calling a foul, <laughs> scientists say 92% of the time, you're trash. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Let him shoot. Let him shoot. Take note of how people are saying, let him shoot. If you always hear, let him shoot during the game, chances are, you're a dope dealer because you're giving bricks. And if you didn't understand that last line, then give me your ring. No, hey, don't even say anything. Just give me your ring. Uh, hey, bro, how many you got? Uh, I can get you in a second. That man is lying. He cannot get you in a second. Look to the left. You are at a black barbershop. Most black. Oh, it really be like that, man. You know, when I come at barbershop every single time, well, I think, I think all Fridays. I mean, I, I come to barber, I come, I come to barbershop every, uh, you know, every Friday or elsewhere. It's just days, I don't know, but um, it really be like that when I come to the barber shop. It, it should be like so many people, and I'm like, man, I gotta wait for this for very long hours. I'm like, come on, and don't do me, to, don't do me your boys like that. Just fuck your boys up, man. Give me some haircut, man. <laughs> But um yeah, if this happened to you before, um comment down below what this happened at. Cause uh yeah, yeah, man you maybe you maybe hope I would have be I, you maybe hope I would have came early on early and go to the barbershop at like um seven or eight. No not seven but eight or nine PM. No, 8 or 9 a.m., I believe, so, yeah.
Like barbershops have five to seven niggas, 10 on a Saturday, 20 on the Saturday before the first day of school. Now each head is approximately 25 minutes on a normal day. So you're in there for four hours. Please clear your schedule. Now I know this math does not add up, but if you account for the break the barber's gonna take while cutting your head, that adds on an extra hour. I'll be right back, I'm back on break. Is that a dog? Where are you at? You are not at a barber shop. Mm. You are at somebody's house. Most black barber shops are really just somebody's house. I think they think of a haircut last time. I think I'm in the face. And, uh, I was going to one of my friends and uh, like cut my hair. Just, uh, you know, all that. But uh, you get the point. They brought in chairs to make it look like a barber shop. Wait a minute. Let's backtrack. Is that Guardians of the Galaxy 2? Guardians of the Galaxy 2? This movie is still in theaters. How did they get that? Black barbershops always have illegal movies in perfect quality. That's a year. It really be like that, cause, you know. Uh, one of my friends who actually a barber, uh, he, you know, he got a lot. He got a lot, a lot of DVDs. I'm telling you, a lot of expensive DVDs and clap to the classic, the modern, and all that, man. You gotta, you gotta love the barbershop, you know what I'm telling you? So don't even go to the movies. Just go to your local black barber shop. Hey, anybody trying to buy a hat? I'm good. Y'all gonna be the only niggas with it. Come on. I'm good. 25. I'm good. All right, all right, 20. If you were questioning me earlier, there are no... Uh, I think, yeah. I think, you know, you know, hey, y'all wanna buy something? You wanna, you wanna buy something, man? You know, that's how it be like that in a barber shop, you know. <laughs> It just always does that. Every single time I saw it, when I saw, you know, who tried to buy, buy stuff, try to sell some, I mean, it really been like that. I don't know. I just feel like I can't knock the hustle. I just can't knock the hustle, man. No more questions. You are at a black barbershop. Black barbershops always have niggas coming in trying to sell something. Now, I'm not knocking their hustle, but I wouldn't buy anything. Most of the time, it's either fake or or stolen but you didn't hear that from me because i am not a snitch i'm just doing my job and giving you a tutorial blue 42 blue 42 that's a football player on the court football players are unnecessarily aggressive on the court they believe everybody should get their weight up and that everybody still has on pads they have no regard for other people's oh, life this one is three sign you're playing basketball with a football player just to shoot a layup and still miss. Can we get a flag on the play? That man clearly ran him over. And why was he dribbling the ball so low <laughs> while running to the rim? So many unanswered questions. So little time. Remember that football players always take the ball down the court like they're a running back. Preferably Emmitt Smith or Barry Sanders. So get out of the way or pay the price. I'm open, I'm open. <laughs> Football players can never control their strength while on the court, so shots usually come out very forced, and they still throw their elbows. It really doesn't even make sense. So remember, while playing a football player, just let him do what he wants, unless you're willing to take unnecessary injuries. Yeah, it's always a brutal strength to do that shit every single time, man. Not only the football players are not good at basketball, or basketball players are not good at football players at the same time. But, if they can master it, hell, maybe that'll be the first time I ever get, like, you know, from NBA, NFL, or NFL to NBA, I believe. So, yeah. Coming down to below is there more of three signs. Uh, <laughs> three signs and stuff like that. I'll probably gonna do that next time. So uh, comment down below, and I'll see you on the next reaction videos.